Hi, my name is Jack Urquhart. I'm in the online section of the course, and this is my final project. So this final project doesn't have, um, it, it's not a work or a school project, um, but it has a ton of different applications that I could use and I'm excited to use in the future. The gist of it is that it helps me to rank things based on different criteria. What I did is I play the Xbox game FIFA a lot, and I've been trying to decide in FIFA who to get as my left midfielder. And I want to make sure he's a good fit in my team. I'm not just going to trust his overall rating. The players all have overall ratings, and I'm not just going to trust the best one. I want to know, based on different criteria, if they'll fit in with my team. So the three things that I, the three um, topics from class that I'm going to show in this video are first, conditional formatting, second, VBA, and then third, advanced filtering. So you can see here, looking at my project on the left um, side here along the first column, I have um, jotted down the top 50 players. Uh, I've entered them into these cells, the top 50 left midfielders from FIFA. So Neymar is number one, and I go down to the bottom, and Nani is number 50. And um, going across, you can see their overall rating, and then... Ratings on specific criteria like pace, shooting, passing, dribbling, defense, and physicality. Um, another important note is you'll see duplicate names in here like Neymar is this first one and then Neymar is also the third player on the list. And what the game does is sometimes it releases a special version of a player called a team of the week that's a little bit better. So this is the team of the week Neymar and you can see that his attributes are a little bit higher than those of the normal Neymar. So there are several duplicates in here. So conditional formatting, what I did to show in all of these different attributes, um, a visual way of seeing which players are rated high on the list, is I conditional formatted each of these columns um, to show me in yellow the top 10 players in that attribute, in orange the top 5, and then in red the top value. So as you can see, as you go down, there are some red players at 95 because that's the fastest anybody is. And then orange, 94, and then some yellows at 93. Um, and I copied that conditional formatting to all of the other columns. So it's the same thing with each attribute. Top 10 in yellow, top 5 value in orange, and then top value in red. And then when there are ties, there are more of those values. So... Obviously, if there are three guys that are the top value, they're all red, as is the case with Pace here. Um, but this is a nice, awesome way to see visually which players are in the top ranks in multiple categories. So if I look, for instance, at Anderson, Felipe Anderson down here, I can see that he's in the top five in Pace, top five in Shooting, top ten in Passing and Dribbling, and then in Defense, he's in the top five. So that's Conditional Formatting. Now for VBA, what I thought about is um, if I want a player who's not just the top rated player like Neymar, but I want a player who fits kind of a mold, a role that would help my team, um, I calculated some different values for these criteria. I weighted them differently to give me a different type of player or role of player. So you can see that here on this sheet. Um, I've determined that a balanced player would have equal weights of pace, shooting, passing, dribbling, defense, and physicality, whereas a scoring threat would have really high shooting, um, really high dribbling, assist man would have great passing, of course, and a burner would have great pace. And using VBA, I use a sum product of these different weights applied to the player's values in those different um, attributes, and they multiply that and put a score here and I've programmed in VBA to, if I say, for instance, I want an assist man, it weights all of the players and re-ranks them for me. So let's show you, we have Neymar, Hazard, Neymar, Hazard, the top four. But if I press assist man, it gives me their values, and now I have Hazard, Anderson, Neymar, Hazard. Um, if I want a scoring threat, the top one it gives me is Neymar. If I want a burner, 
top one he gives me is Anderson. If I want a balanced player, the top is Anderson, Perisic, etc. So in addition to um, being able to rank those things using VBA, I've also programmed this clear button that gets rid of that. And I'll show you, I'll go ahead and show you kind of the, the back end, if you will, of these things a little bit. So in this column where I, I showed the conditional formatting, I can show you what I did, manage rules, and you can see that, again, top one value, top five value, top ten values, and their colors accordingly. Then I'll show you the VBA on some of these buttons. Um, so if I go to my macros, and I look, for instance, at what a burner would be, edit, uh, you can see in here, um, I'm selecting the range, I'm making the sum product of the thing from the second sheet onto the first sheet, um, I'm placing those, I'm sorting them, um, here's the sort, um, and I'm ending that sub, and that's kind of how all of those buttons work. Um, you can look more specifically at that, obviously, as you look at my project. Um, advanced filtering. I really like the exam. Uh, I really like this um, topic for my project because what if, for instance, I don't want somebody who fits exactly one of these molds um, of balance, scoring thread, assist, manner, burner, but instead I want to be able to call out what I want for the attributes. For example, I want a player that's at least 92 uh, pace. I want a player that can pass at least uh, 78 and has physicality of at least 70. So I did advanced filtering and I can show what that looks like here. Let me get out of this. I can show if I go to the data and the advanced filtering you can see what I've done here. I've taken the list range, which is basically this whole player base over here, and the criteria range, which is just these right here that we entered in, and copied to, and I copied them down to this cell right here, and then I programmed that L20, and then I programmed that into VBA. So it will do that now when I just press search. And this shows me that there are only two players that meet the criteria that I just put down. Pace at least 92, passing at least 78, and physicality at least 70. Mane and Sane, which rhyme. Pretty cool. And then I program this clear button to get rid of that, put these values back to zero. Uh, I can do this, again, even if I just want one criteria. I just want players that are 94 pace. Search. These are all of the players that are at least 94, rated from top to bottom by their overall rating. Show you one more example of me doing two. Let me just go ahead and clear this. I want a guy who shoots at least 85 rating, and his defense is at least 45. Search. And I programmed VBA that if nobody fits that criteria, this message box would come up. No players fit your criteria. So again, it goes back to zero on these, and you can try again on that advanced filter. Um, uh, I believe that I've shown you how I, how I made all of those things. Again, my three topics were the conditional formatting, uh, VBA, which you see throughout these two things, and this advanced filter here to sort the players. I see applications in this in city government projects. That's what I'm interested in for my career. I want to do city management. Say we want to rank parks, potential park locations, and they have different attributes to them, such as oh, um, how close they are to homes, how big they are, how expensive they are. You can rate all of those things and create a similar um, project to what I've created here to weight things differently, um, to use advanced filtering to find specific minimums in different criteria that I want. Um, but that's my project. Feel free to email me if you have any questions. Thanks so much for looking at it.